Greetings from WBCS Neo. Right, this is uh, obviously in regards to um, setting up an RTSP stream um, through OBS to uh, feed into YouTube for a live broadcast. So we'll crack on with it because I want to try and get all the stuff done today. Um, so first thing first, go to your browser, which might be Chrome, Firefox, Safari, whatever you're in. Um, what you want to type in first is you're looking for the OBS software okay or open broadcast uh, software um, so I would type in obviously OBS studio oops helps you get type right um, from there we should get if you've typed the right one you should get this one which should point to obsproject.com uh, anything else is probably fake and probably end up installing loads of dodgy software and you don't want to know about it okay uh, from there I would probably you have the option for download here however I would probably click on that one first and I'll tell you why um, this will give you the main web page uh, if you click on Windows because you've got a Windows laptop it will determine or it'll detect which operating system you've got like if it's a 64-bit operating system or 32-bit uh, in this case it will just download to I've got it here so I'm just going to download it on my desktop for example um, so I can save that Oh yes, I'm replacing it. Um, so OBS is down here in Google Chrome, for example. Firefox is usually in a download. It's got like an arrow, download arrow up here to click on. You can install from there or minimize. Uh, I saved it my desktop, wherever you put it. So you could, could have put in downloads. So double click on that. Install it as normal. Okay. I'm going to put this back up here for now because I'm going to come back to it in a minute. Right. So. Um, don't need that I've got YouTube there but I'm going to come back to that in a minute okay um, right so what we're going to do is once you've installed the software if you launch OBS studio what you should get is something like this okay now um, ignore this bit up here this is just a repetition of what I'm seeing on the screen so I'm seeing this but it's doing it within the screen so it's an infinity screen okay and um, ignore that in here you will normally not have anything at all okay these two areas will be completely blank first thing you need to do is uh, we'll use OBS example as as the example in this one today um, so you click on the plus in the scene area okay bring this down here so it's it's more in the in your face uh, call it whatever you want obviously I have called it OBS example it's going to say it exists already okay then I'll click OK and that would generate this but it'll be like at the top of the field okay this when you highlight it like that it'll have nothing in here okay so what you want to do is um, like I, I can I can show you by I can show you because it's not going to show us um, so what it's going to have is it'll have nothing here so first thing first is this is an example one I've set up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add your church feed um, at this point I will tell you you will hopefully um, if, if Mix already told you or not, um, you should have some uh, software installed on your phone called One's View Viewer, I think it's called, um, and that allows you to connect to the camera directly and, and view. It's like a security camera, so it allows you to log in directly to the camera. Okay, uh, within there, I will probably email the link uh, or what I think should be the link for the RSTP uh, RTSP stream. I'll get it right. I always get that wrong. Um, the full link for it okay but I'll show you what it roughly should look like but if you check within the the camera app that will actually give you a proper up-to-date one because it might change like the IP address might change on it until we actually fix up a static IP for the camera it will probably change uh, so you click on plus in here okay that's going to ask you what you want to add basically uh, up here you want a media source okay and we'll get scene selection media source we'll just call this church okay or oh, church cam whatever you want to call it it doesn't have to be anything specific it can be rude if you like obviously you're not going to do that um, so we'll call it church for this example uh, it comes up like this local file okay untick the local file box because it's not a local file you want it uh, in a way of entering what you want to do okay so the other thing you want to do is untick this box okay tick this box use what hardware decoding where possible uh, and untick that box 
I found this seems to keep the, the camera alive. Um, so input would be the actual link. So I'm going to pretend that I, I know the information. Okay, which it, it was normally going to be the username and password first. So in this, this example, okay, then at it will be the IP address 192.168.174, for example, on port 554. That is normal because they all use that port. Uh, and this is just where it's located for the actual video stream and type. Uh, channel 0 in, in this case is the HD version or full HD version. Channel 1 is the 720 low HD version. Okay. Uh, when you click OK, if you've done all that right and you've got the right information here, this is the only bit that will change is this bit here. That might change to 61, 21, 25. could be anything. Um, this is where you need to check within the video camera software itself because it will tell you where it's it's moved to if it has okay this is just an example i'll give you a proper uh, one that i think it should be in an email okay click ok and what you should get is you should get a version of your video stream coming up like this okay so it'll just appear Boop. okay this one is um, one that i have set up for someone else which is a live stream which is on the website um, and this is on 24 7 basically um, got distracted by the by the, the women um, <laughs> right so as you can see there's a nice live broadcast we're coming live from down color coats in this case um, and that's it that's that's the stream that's what you want on OBS when you start the stream okay if you've got this that is OBS pretty much nearly set up okay right from here now we know that the media source is working we've got a picture of what you should have is the church not <laughs> color coats uh, if you've got color coats that was a neat trick um, but it should show you the inside of the church where you're going to be doing a live stream from right from here what I want to do is we want to go back to uh, I'm just going to turn that off uh, turn that off and we'll go back to this what you want to do now is you want to go to your um, YouTube okay log into YouTube as you normally would um, the reason I'm doing it this way is I find it easier this way um, so what you want to do is you want to set up your stream your live stream this is just before you go live um, so obviously click on the create which is up here this nice little button here and then go live instead of upload a video you can record it all first then upload it if you feel like it it's entirely up to you but obviously you've just got to bear with it um, so what it'll do is it'll come to studio mode here once it's prepared everything um, I've obviously got this set up ready to go um, from here okay this bit you don't have to worry about pretty much anything it's just going to work okay you can edit all this, the information in here it's it will be advisable at some point or you can edit afterwards so you don't have to panic okay the main critical bit is this bit here okay this stream key okay see how it tells you here paste in encoder because we need an encoder okay so what we're going to do is oh, that's interesting stream URL um, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy that as you can see there it says successfully copy the clipboard which is good now if we come back into um, OBS Studio, now what you want to do is see this over here, we've got all these things here, obviously I am recording, I don't want to press that button. If I go to settings, what I'll do is it'll come up with all the settings. Um, the only one that you're really interested in is the stream setting, um, which is fine, okay. Service, it will ask you which service you can show loads more. Um, I know you were interested in YouTube, which is what I would recommend anyway, because at least you can do 1080p on that as well. You can do Facebook, but Facebook is only 720, um, which is a bit sucky, to be fair, like, for someone who's got so much money. Anyway, well, obviously Google's bigger than them. Um, so, uh, YouTube, you can either use either one of these. I just use Beta because it hasn't given us any problems, and it's it, it's going to be better, apparently. Um, select that. That sets everything up for you. You don't have to do anything else, really. That, that is it okay now the, the key that we copied we need to paste in here so you just highlight the whole thing okay you can delete it first then uh, if you use control and V or if you right click you should be able to paste okay 
I don't, I'm not going to show the key because that means someone will hack into my video stream. Uh, you can use that one to cut out the middleman sort of thing, but I, I personally like to go to YouTube and because I can set the stream up ready, paste the stream key in and go, okay? Um, once you've done this once, I think YouTube does use a specific key for you, so it's it's not critical. Okay, so once you've done it once, you can just keep it there and you can make a copy of the keys in a text file if you want and just paste them for Facebook. But if you, if you alternate, I sometimes use Facebook, I sometimes use YouTube, so I alternate the, the keys over. But it takes me two seconds to get a key from Facebook and YouTube anyway. Okay, click apply on that. Okay. So we are now ready to stream, literally. Okay, so from here, if I start the stream and I switch over to my display for YouTube, I am now live. You see that? Because OBS has tell is given YouTube a signal to go live. So now this is what YouTube is seeing. Okay. Uh, from here, if I was to switch back the media source briefly, and if I switch on the camera, okay. So this is what you want to leave on OBS. Okay. And if you go back to your YouTube page, what you should see is I'm just wait for it to come up on the other one. Um, what if you look on you know, if you minimize OBS, you should be presented with that. So you've got the actual video stream, okay? As long as you've got that in there, everybody else on the planet is going to see it, okay? So that, that's it. It's going to switch off in a second because, obviously, I am swapping in and out of OBS and switching media sources back on because I'm recording as I'm doing it. Um, so that's it. So as long as you've got that media source in OBS and minimize it, crack on. When you finish with YouTube, you don't... I would probably recommend um, ending the stream in YouTube first before you kill off OBS otherwise it's going to see you go a bit ishy squishy on the end and um, kill the stream off first okay so I'm going to end the stream okay and click end okay from here you'll get the option to either dismiss it which means it will it won't bro it won't show it at all in YouTube okay but the, the streams always happened um, but you could you might want to let allow people who weren't able to get into the ceremony as it were on the day to be able to watch it afterwards so you can edit in studio and make it a video so you've got the best of both worlds you can do a live stream and get rid of it or you can do a live stream and actually have it as a recording in YouTube as well so other people who couldn't get there on the day can actually watch it back if they want to at a later date whenever they want because it's always there until you delete um, so I would do that, I would edit in the studio for this sort of thing um, and it gives everybody an opportunity to catch up with it you know you could give it a month expiry date and then just delete it after a month if you didn't want it after a month okay that's entirely up to you um, you may get more views and hits and ratings if you keep it all on so the more the merrier um, so I'm going to dismiss it okay because obviously I don't want it I don't want that little broadcast uh, and that just means I won't have a video at all on there if I have it'll just turn up in my video list as, as a new video um, so that's pretty much it um, I will give an email to you as soon as I can uh, and once that's done so what I can do is here is I can stop streaming see so yeah, <laughs> there it is that's just telling us I killed the stream off okay did it do did it do uh, I'll just wait for that to am I just me that's just me there we go um, that's it so I've stopped the stream uh, that has now stopped okay so that's now not sending any signal to YouTube either uh, and that is pretty much it like I say don't ignore these ones these are just my for my needs so these are all for my needs but that you should only have one listed there that is all you need um, as long as that's on in OBS and you've hit start stream you've got everything else set up that's it it's playing non-stop okay um, that's it hopefully that's that's all you need right I'll uh, I'll get this uh, posted as a link so you can watch it on YouTube and I'll give uh, Mick the relevant e information in an email. See you later.